Good day, good day, everybody. And once again, we're back together. All right. So this time we are looking at uh, question seven from our technical maths paper two exam. So please, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure you're part of the family. All right. Now let's get into the question itself. So they say to us in the diagram below, we've got uh, O, which is the center of the circle. R, S, V and W are points on the circle. Right, so we know we've got center O over there. So that makes uh, OR as well as OW our radii, right? Whether we're going to use that or not, uh, I always prefer that we indicate in one way or the other, right? So uh, that means that uh, those two um, lines are equal, right? So that mean, uh, they say to us RS and WV are produced to meet at T, Right, now please remember guys, whenever they say that a line is produced, what it simply implies is that that is a straight line, okay? So remember that may imply that at some point we might need to use either angles on a straight line, we might need to use exterior angles of a cyclic quad, or even sometimes exterior angles of a triangle, okay? Right, now they say to us SRV is 20 degrees, which is that uh, angle indicated over there, as well as ROW, which is 80 degrees. Now, let's look at the question. They say, determine the reason, uh, with the reasons, rather, the size of each of the following angles. So, they want the size of V1. All right, now, if I look at V1, that is the angle at the circumference, okay? And I can note there that they are both subtended by arc or you can say, you see, I'm drawing a line there so that I can show you that there is a chord that subtends a RW, right? So angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So which means that this angle here has to be 40 degrees. So that means that the size of V1 is 40 degrees, okay? Right, so I'm going to say V1, or rather... Uh, Let's first write it down in full. So 2V1 is equal to ROW. Okay. And the reason for that is that we've got angle at center equals to twice angle at circumference, right? Right, so that means that in this case, and remember guys, it's the angle at the center that is always bigger, okay? So please, as a rule of thumb, please don't say the angle at the circumference is twice uh, the angle at the center. So it's the angle at the circumference that is always bigger. So 2V1 is equal to 80 degrees. So that means that if we divide that by 2, Therefore, V1, angle V1, will be equal to 40 degrees. So, we can put that there. So, V1 is 40 degrees. Now, the next angle that they want us to determine is angle T. So, it is that angle over there. Right. Now, how are we going to go about that? So, firstly, what I'm going to do is well, I can already see that angle, okay, they gave us angle SRV, right? Which is that angle, which is uh, 20 degrees. So this angle is actually equal to, and uh, please, I want you to note in this case, right? That would be equal to angle W2. So this angle here is 20 degrees as well, okay? So... When I look at the bigger triangle, now I'm going to, uh, it's triangle WST, right? So that triangle over there, right? When I look at that triangle WST, I can see that, well, uh, in this case, we would be in a position to find out what is the angle W2, or rather S2, which is this angle over here. Right, how am I going to be able to do that? In fact, uh, I didn't even need the fact that S2 is equal to 40 degrees, so I can remove that, right? But 
in this case, what I can simply do is say, well, because S1 is 40 degrees, uh, rather S1, yes, S1 is 40 degrees, then it makes S2 180 minus 40, that's angle on a straight line, okay, uh, 180 minus 40, which is equal to 140, okay, right, now I want you guys to please note in this case, and I, I don't even know why I removed uh, that 20 degrees uh, over there, right, we said this guy is 20 degrees, we said S2 is 140 degrees, and now we can get angle uh, T, Okay, and I think that will be 20 degrees as well. Okay, so let's do that. So we said W2 is equal to uh, angle SRV, which is 20 degrees. And remember, these are angles on the same segment. right and then uh, we know that w2 is 20 degrees but now we know that also angle s1 okay angle s1 in fact we can even look at v2 as well right so v2 in fact let me take v2 so v2 plus v1 that's equal to 180 degrees. Those are angles on a straight line. Right, so sum of angles on a straight line. So we know V1 is already 40 degrees. So that means that V2 is actually equal to 180 minus 40. So V2 will be equal to 140 degrees. Now, in triangle, okay, so in triangle W, S, in fact, let me take triangle. So we found this guy also uh, to be 140 degrees, which is V2. So in triangle R, V, T, R, V, T, right? It means that angle um, S, uh, it's S, R, V which is that 20 degrees over there. So S, R, V plus angle V2 plus angle T is equal to 180. That's the interior angles of a triangle. Okay, some of the interior angles in a triangle all right, and so that means that angle T would be equal to 180. Uh, let's remove that. That's minus 140 plus 20 degrees. And so that will give us angle T being equal to 20 degrees. Right, I hope that you got that, ladies and gents. So we find this angle to be equal to 20 degrees. And then uh, the last question that they asked us, they say show with reasons that SPVT is not a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so SPVT, let me just use a different color so that we can be able to see it. So there's SPV. T. So this guy here, they're asking, why is it not a cyclic quadrilateral? So we've already found the angle S2 as well as the angle V2, right? And the sum of them is not equal to 180 degrees as it would be the case when it is a cyclic quad, right? So we can first find S2. So if we take S2, all right, uh, firstly, we said S1 would be equal to uh, V1. Okay, let me do that first. Okay, so S1 
is equal to V1. That's 40 degrees. Okay. So in this case, that means that S2, or let me say S1 plus S2, equal to 180 degrees. Oh, uh, by the way, what was the reason there? These are angles on the same segment. Okay, so S1 plus S2, that will give me 180 degrees. These are angles on a straight line. And in this case, it means that S2 will also be equal to 140 degrees. So we're talking about this angle over here. I don't think we had mentioned it. I mentioned it, uh, but we didn't uh, use it in any of our answers. Now, what do you note? S2 plus V2. So S2 plus V2 is equal to 280 degrees. Okay, so therefore, SPVT is not a cyclic quad. And why is that? That opposite angles are not supplementary. Okay. Right, the sum of opposite angles and it is not uh, supplementary. And essentially, guys, I hope that you get uh, really how I answered this question. Right, so I will leave it there. So we're going to be looking at question eight that is next. So we are planning on really destroying this Euclidean geometry. So for now, I will leave it there and I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.